Hi students, happy morning to all. Welcome to 7th standard video. Today I am going to teach you 7th standard English term 2. Term 2 unit 1. Supplementary reader Alice in Wonderland. Supplementary reader Alice in Wonderland unit 1 term 2. Okay, students, shall we move? First, we want to know about the characters. We want to know about the characters. Already, we saw the characters. Now, just recall. What are the characters? Alice. Alice, she is the main character of this story. Alice main character she is the main character of this story and her sister and her sister alice sister and uh, white rabbit and white rabbit and uh, dormouse dormouse and white rabbit dormouse caterpillar cat Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, and um, Queen, Queen of Cards, Queen of Cards. So, what are the characters? Alice, she is the main character, and her sister, White Rabbit, Caterpillar, Cat, Mad Hatter, Queen of Hearts, and uh, Dormouse. So, these are the characters of this story. Now, come to the story. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Alice was beginning to very tired to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures. But it had no pictures or conversation in it. So she got very bored. She got very bored and she was considering in her own mind. She was considering in her own mind as well whether the pleasure of making a dicey time would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the dices when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. And uh, she saw, after she saw a green caterpillar, uh, dressed in a pink jacket dressed in a pink jacket and uh, uh, she was sitting he was sitting on the top of a large mushroom yeah and uh, there was a table there was a table set out under a tree in front of the house and the moch hair and the hatter were having tea at it okay so okay now uh, she uh, matter hatter shouted matter hatter shouted okay what what was uh, he shout, shouted yes he was shouted that he might he might stay if she if she answered his riddle why was a raven like a writing desk. Alice felt dreadfully puzzled. Puzzled means confused. Okay, Alice felt dreadfully confused. The hatter's riddle seemed to have no shot of meaning in it. Okay, meaning in it. So, and yet it was certainly English. She don't quite. She don't quite understand his words. She said that she don't. She didn't quite understand his words as politely as she could. Had her, had he guessed the riddle yet? The hatter said. Had she guessed the riddle yet? She said no. Alice replied no. What was the answer? What was the answer? Mad Hatter 
having the slightest idea mad hatter having the slightest idea okay she think she thought she thought uh, she thought him might done something better with the time she thought him might done something better with the time than waste it in asking riddles that have no answers and she continued her walk suddenly she found herself in the middle of a field where the queen of hearts was playing croquet her cards and gardeners were shaped like gods one garden had planted white roses by mistake and then painted them red of their of with their hearts struggled the queen the queen said that she hate that she hated white roses then she noticed alice and asked her have you ever played croquet then she noticed hmm, queen of hearts noticed alice and asked her have you ever played croquet alice said yes but she had never used a flamenco or a head kick <coughs> queen ordered ordered to alice play with her <coughs> and let her win or she would had her head alice tried her best to play well but she had trouble with her flamingo okay everyone rushed into the court room everyone rushed into the court room court is now in session announce the white rabbit announce the white rabbit announce the white rabbit would alice please come to the stand will alice please come to the stand Alice took the stand and looked at the jury box where the marker and the mad hatter were making noise the door mouse slept and the cheshire had smiled at her what's going on asked alice you are guilty of stealing the delicious hot shaped tarts accused the queen and now she must be punished she must be punished said that the queen said that queen she didn't have she didn't have the slightest idea she didn't have the slightest idea what she were talking about and she was only playing croquet alice felt someone touch her shoulder alice felt someone touch her shoulder wake up wake up she she has been sleeping for too long said her sister softly she had a strange dream she had a alice said that she had a strange dream she told her sister about the white rabbit the mad tea party the queen of hearts and the trial but her sister was not paying attention but her sister was not paying attention she were reading again mumble alice as she stretched alice shy a little white rabbit with pink eyes curry began to a tree okay students i hope yeah first have you have you understood okay okay students thank you thank you for watching my video thank you have a nice day thank you students